Hey everybody, Chris here. So is Dogecoin primed for its next move up? We're going to explore that in this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. And we were live Wednesday night and we were watching again GameStop, AMC, what's happening on the stock side of things, these meme stocks, and how there's this big pullback and the fighting going on between the New York Stock Exchange, the hedge funds, market makers, and even the leadership of the companies themselves, like Adam Aaron, AMC, with stock dilution, and all of that is putting pressure on the prices of those things, and they're coming down, and what's happening with Roaring Kitty on X Twitter, and is that really Keith Gill behind that account, or something? So much unknown, it could still be early in that whole process, and we could see another big breakout on those stocks, so, We'll be watching that again and covering that again Friday at 5 o'clock East Coast time. That'll be my next live stream. We'll be catching up on all that. But for now, we want to look at Dogecoin. That's right. A lot of people still worried that there's going to be another big drop in Dogecoin. But I think we're really set up now for this next move up. So let's take a closer look at the charts and the news. And I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we'll start here looking at the Dogecoin chart. We're still just over 15 cents. Uh, last night, Dogecoin did climb up to about 15.9, almost up to 16. Sort of fell off this morning, came down to 14.95. So if you had that 14.99 limit order set, you picked up some more Doge just before 15 cents before coming back up. In this white line there, well, that is still the completion of the reverse head and shoulders that we have here on the chart. And we're just bouncing off of that right now. So are we gonna see Doge continue to complete this reverse head and shoulders pattern or are we gonna break out of that and move sideways and continue sort of sideways trading in the choppiness that we have in this period after the Bitcoin halving that we've talking about that could continue as well. But overall, this, this pullback is pretty much in line with what we've had with previous pullbacks. If we can recover back up and we start seeing these higher lows, we can continue on up moving. That's what the chart is showing. Again, Bitcoin did come back, come up over 66,000 and is now fading back a little bit as well. So Bitcoin is kind of driving a little bit of the market today and this reversal. So what's going on? Look, Dogecoin, Bitcoin pumped. That was yesterday as the GameStop rally cooled. We've been talking about that. But in the wake of a meme stock and meme coin frenzy, old school cryptocurrencies have been doing remarkably well, except this morning we do see a little bit of a pullback on that. Um, overall, you know, Bitcoin overall has been performing very well uh, and it is still outperforming ETH and the alts and we haven't seen that rotation yet to alt season. Bitcoin still leading the way. But as we talk about like GME, this GameStop and what happened back in 2021 right here, versus where we are now in 2024, we did have in this blue line, this is the GameStop stock price. And that huge run that we had with GameStop was followed by two Doge pumps. There was first the test pump that happened right at the end of January, and then the huge pump that was in April. That followed the, the large GameStop run after it started coming back down, then we had Doge take off. Where are we right now? Well, we had this GameStop, the first rip there. Could it be settling down for a next big run up that would then be followed by Doge? Was what we had back here end of February into March the test pump, and then the next big pump coming. That could play out. That's the way things happened before when there was this big transfer of interest from GameStop 
the stock side over to Dogecoin on the crypto side. So we could be see something like that. And as Kaleo says, Dogecoin is overdue for a good pump. It's almost time. That's right, almost time. And then he's also looking at the Doge Bitcoin um, uh, trading pair, and that ratio still looks primed for a move higher as well. So we could look uh, at that some more too during the live stream on Friday. Uh, so as we zoom in right now, here's what we've got. Again, since that 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 sort of test pump that we had for Doge end of February into March, we are seeing higher lows on the price, but the RSI is going down. Well, that is called a bullish divergence. We have that bullish divergence happening on the charts. That usually leads to another breakout. That's what we typically see with that pattern. So where does this go from here? Again, we showed this uh, last week, but this is the, the next move would be this large run in the price following this bullish divergence. Could we see Doge you know, running up possibly to a previous all-time high, big retrace, and then a move up over a dollar? That would be a big move that could happen. This could be what Dogecoin is primed for based on what the charts are saying. And then zooming back out and looking at the previous runs that Dogecoin has had, and this is based on percentage now, so this is a logarithmic chart, big run in 2017, big run in 2021. Are we ready for that next big run? Again, following the four-year cycles, this would be 2024 into 2025, this big run. Doge has a high potential of hitting a dollar, maybe even up to more, could be three dollars this cycle. And then Coin Signal says, Yeah, I bought some at 15 cents. So still buying, right? We're still buying Doge. This is still accumulation. And this accumulation zone where we are now could be before the next trigger of a move up. So Dogecoin price prediction Doge. We're looking at, a in the, in the more near term, a 15% upside, and that would be a run up to 18 cents if Bitcoin price holds above 65K. So Dogecoin price crossed above resistance due to a descending trend line amid the growing bullish momentum. So here's their chart. Let's zoom in on it. And so Doge has broken above that descending trend line from where Doge was at the end of March, up at 22 cents. So it had been tailing off, and now what we're seeing is the posting of higher lows, and that is the breakout from that downward trend. So that is how Dogecoin looks today. Again, Dogecoin is seeing that pullback similar to Bitcoin. We zoom back into the 15-minute chart, though, and we look at that most recent dip there, that could be the low of the day, and we could see Doge then start to move on and back up and regain some higher price. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think is Dogecoin really primed for this huge move to come in the near future? Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.